Hello. Elijah is certainly one of the most popular prophets of the First Testament. He was called by God during a, a difficult and challenging time for God's people, where when politics and economics were difficult, when the people worship less and less God and turn away from the covenant made between God and their ancestor. Elijah began his career as a prophet very, in a way very spectacular. He defeated on Mount Carmel more than 450 priests from the god Baal, and he did it all by himself. But still, despite something very spectacular, he remained unpopular. The people does the people do not seem to listen to him and furthermore his life is in jeopardy he's forced to flee he's forced into exile and when we meet him uh, in the first book of kings uh, chapter 19 he's ready to give up he, he said well just kill me god you know there's it's not working it's worthless just just kill me and honestly, many priests, um, minister, reverend, member of clergy can identify with this feeling. Um, sometimes we receive, well, we all receive this call and we want to do something about it. And we know it's a difficult and challenging time for the church in, uh, in the Western world. But still, we accept this call and we say, okay, it's going to be difficult, but I'm, I'm ready to invest myself. And sometimes people don't want to listen to us or criticize us. Sometimes we're bullied and we feel discouraged. We feel that What's the point, God, of calling me if I cannot do what I feel you're calling me to do? And we're facing reality that in the reality is not what we thought it would be. And often we're tempted just to give up, just to give up. And I'm saying this for clergy, but I'm sure other professions feel that, other place of engagement. I'm thinking of professor, of nurses, uh, people involved in uh, uh, community groups. You see the potential. You feel that you have to do it. And it's not for the money. <laughs> it's not for the fame. You want to do something. And you meet resistance. And you meet all those hurdles. You, you hit obstacle over obstacle. And you wonder, does it really worth it? Especially if I feel that I'm alone fighting from this. But as Elijah is reminded, we're never alone. God is with us. And God sent us back. When Elijah finally met God, God said, yeah, I hear you, but... I'm sending you back, maybe with new goals, maybe with new objectives. And that's happened to a lot of, of us. Life can change, relationship can change, our sense of calls can change. It evolves with time as everything else evolves. We evolve, society evolves. And when we hit those obstacles, when we're tempted to just give up, we are invited to have time to recover, to regroup, and maybe find a new direction to continue faithfully. We are invited to believe, to trust in God's call, in God's wisdom. And if we don't see it right away, to still try, maybe in a different way, maybe in a different position, but still to believe 
all of this is not in vain. Once again, thank you for listening and watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermet, and, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.